Hello and welcome back to another episode of Checkpoint and welcome to Loot Rascals! So this game was sent to me by the lovely developers over at Hollow Ponds and it's a card based roguelike adventure sort of game. It actually looks hilarious. The voice acting, I can't wait for you guys to hear this. Hear this. It looks, it, it sounds fantastic. It sounds hilarious. Let's do it. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to turn into a little, you know, a series where we can, uh, you know, keep going over and over again. Uh, I guess we just start a standard game, right? Did I press the right thing? Yeah, play, standard game. Let's do it. Uh, there's a short tutorial, which we should probably do. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do it. Good idea. Oh, I get to decide who I am. Left and right to decide. And the space part to select. So uh, I get to choose out of these two. Um, I guess I'll go with this thing. He kind of looks like a baby. Um, why not? Why not? We'll go with, with the little baby. Probably a grown man. Stretch your legs. Use WASD to run around. Okay. So as you can see, it's based on like a little hex thing. Like most um, card based roguelike RPG type type things. Um, all these little hex tiles. Uh, wait, I only, I, I just missed what he just said. Day and night are only a few turns apart. This is important because you'll only get the first hit on some baddies at day and others at night. Brilliant. Uh, so can I not? Oh, okay. That's my deck, I think. Uh, we can look at the map here. So we've got some sort of area to go through here. Apparently a cart. Um, oh, okay. Hey, go and loot these. Okay. I'll loot all of them. Here we go. So it looks like the mouse is not used at all in this game. Great, now let's equip them. Press space to open your hood. There we go. Click the cards to equip them. Oh no, the mouse is used. Okay. Uh, well, let's equip all of them, I guess. There we go. So we've got an ablative armband, a meteor ball, a space shorts, and a self-throw disc. Orange cards increase your attack strength. Blue cards increase your defense. Attack and defense are displayed at the top. Try and move them around a bit. Okay. Um... We'll move them like this, right? What does what does this say? Uh, are these like the little prerequisitions we need to hit? Okay, so if we put this one on the top row, we get plus one on that. Uh, even slot. Don't know what that means. Card to right in column one. Okay. Oh, there we go. Try to arrange these cards so you have five attack and five defense. Right. Um, mm, we need to sort this defense thing out. Card to right. Right. So we need. This here. There we go. Great job. Okay, close the hood with space. Okay, run down. We'll go crush some biscuits. Alright, sure. There we go. Uh, combat starts when you shower a towel with a buddy. It's automatic. You take turns when attacking one another. Is this guy a buddy? Apparently not. Okay, so can we pick this up? Yeah, there we go. We got some loot. Combat starts when you shower. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right, let's attack this dude. So how can we tell which ones to attack? Because these ones down here say avoid me. Um, maybe it's because they've got like defense level one or something? I don't know. Oh, it just said avoid and now I'm attacking at the last second. Some baddies attack first and others defend first. This changes between day and night. Like you see when you get on the tile it sometimes changes from attack me and avoid me. You can tell whether a baddie is good to attack or defend by looking at the badge above their head. Uh, the orange thing means that they'll attack first. Blue means you'll attack first. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll go down this way. Oh. So where's my life? Up there in the top left. Okay. Picking up all this stuff. Can we check the cards or? Um, apparently not. Uh, or maybe it's on spacebar, no? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we picked up some new loot. Um, let's have a look at them. We've got a Hydra Putter. Some more space shorts. Uh, these, this is like level 2 there. Um, if we put it in column 2, yeah, that puts our defense up. So if we take this out... Oh god, that puts it right down, doesn't it? Okay. So I think this is all about managing your inventory and uh, organizing everything. Uh, to make sure that they're all getting the... Like, uh, some, some buffs. Uh, from, uh, from, from the cards themselves, from these, uh, prerequisites that we've got here. So, uh, we can move this one here. Odd slot. So, if we put that there, there we go. Card above slash below. Oh, how can we do that? Ah, oh, right, okay. And look, it looks like we can rotate it. Ah! Oh, so, you actually get something on the other side. That's great. That's awesome. Okay. So, dual purpose, it seems. Um, have we got anything else? Ah, oh, yeah, we've got to kill these ones. 
take out these dudes over here. Luckily, my defense is quite high now. Don't forget to pick up cards. Yeah. Let's pick up this card. Have a look at it. So, this is card to the right. Um, so, if we put this, like, there, that works. So, the reason my defense has gone down, is it because of, like, being damaged or something? I don't know. So, now we have more cards than we have slots. Uh, this is an attack card. We probably need more defense cards, really. Um, let's just... On, let's move it across. Can we rotate this one? No. We could rotate this one, and that puts our defense up. Um, what does this do? Which one gives us more... Gives us more um, attack? So, I think we should probably go with this one, right? Oh, wait, no, that takes... Oh, God, no. Oh, we don't want to have the odd slot, because that gives... Uh, shoot. Hmm. Um, yeah, we can't put that there because it gives us minus two in terms of attack, I believe. Um, so we've got to have a card above it, so it's got to be here, and it's got to be an odd slot. So that's got to be, um, which ones would it be? Which, which are odd numbers? Uh, odd numbers every time. In. One, three, five, seven, and nine. That's like a little tune we learned during uh, primary school, during like my first few years at school. Odd numbers every time, and in one... Three, five, seven, and nine. Okay, so if we, um, God damn it, uh, I don't know where to move this one. Maybe we should just do something like this. That works. That works for me. No, I gotta quit hitting that. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go attack these fellas again. Oh, I don't think we can get over there. Well, let's attack this guy then. Why does it say avoid me and attack me? Okay, let's try something else. Head back up to where we started. Alright, I'll just pick up this card. So we'll head up around this way. The art style is awesome. Look at this. So gorgeous. That's great. Oh god, there's a special type of bunny, uh, baddie here called the Ben Bunny. Go kill it. I'm trying, but he's, he's very fast. There we go. Marvelous. Now collect that burning card and open your hood with space bar. Pick it up. There we go. All right. The burning augment gives any card the burn ability. Drop it on one of your equipped cards. Uh, we'll pop it on um, this one. Okay. Okay. You have a burning card. Close your hood and we'll go and use it. Oh, but let's select the burning ability first. Click on it down in the bottom right hand corner. Now head back to those biscuits. Oh, man. Oh, you can tell what's going to happen here. So we burn this guy. Okay, hold on, let me... Who should we burn? Like him? Bang! Nice! Abilities recharge by revealing tiles in combat are by stepping on a charge tile. So where are the charge tiles? Are they like these ones? Yes, they are. Okay, so these like star ones are like, um... Charge tiles. So we can use it on this guy. It doesn't look like we have to be in like line of sight or whatever. To kill the biscuits behind the wall, uh, to the right, you'll need to use the mouse to move your cursor over a baddie and click to the, use your burn ability on them. Okay, so where... Oh, God. We'll deal with this guy. Okay. Um, behind the wall to the right. Uh, are they around this way? You'll need to use your mouse to move the, your cursor over a buddy and click to use your burn ability on them. So can I use it on... Hold on. Let's just deal with this guy. So we're talking about these guys behind this wall, right? So can we do this? There we go. Sweet. Um, we're probably going to have to charge up as well. Let's deal with this guy. Uh, we'll charge up here. Oh, okay. We took him out. And take this guy out. The objective is to find the exit portal in each area and use it to warp out. Find and use it now to escape the tutorial. All right. I'm getting it, I think. I think I am getting it. All right. Let's get out of here. Brilliant. Now we can get into the actual game, I guess. Uh, we'll start a standard game. We've got some sort of cutscene here. Wake up. Look, listen to the voice acting. I'll just be quiet for a bit. Wake up. Gonna wake up. All right, we're nearly there, so I'm just gonna talk you through the mission again, okay? Right, you're on your way to the site of a new outer space holiday camp where the medical substance, liquid anything, has already been transported in a big battery unit, which is a nickname, it's got a technical name. 
The Meg Barry should have by now prepared the planet's surface, poured in the liquid anything, and initiated the 3D rendering process. However, we've lost contact. The most likely scenario is that flying space debris is snapped off the Big Barry's aerial, in which case you should load the appropriate chip into your chest mounted chip leader and use your helmet to render a replacement part. Before returning home, you should inspect the camp in case there's anything else we need to repair or replace. And remember, ensure that an area is clear before rendering in case you accidentally hit someone in the face, which can kill. This concludes the mission re Oh, sorry, nearly put you back to hypersleep there. <laughs> oh, here's the planet coming into view now, look. So, I'll guide the spaceship down to the surface and you just kill, kill, kill. I don't know what's just happened, but I do know that moon's not supposed to be there. Uh, and the bad news is I've lost control of the ship. Oh, there's the big Barry, but um, his head's been stolen. Right, um, we're, we're definitely going to kill. Oh, hello. Look at this bunch of rascals. Okay, well, the new mission is let's escape. <laughs> Amazing. How fantastic is that? <laughs> That's what totally like drew me towards this game. Just that pure voice acting. Okay, so we're here. We are <laughs> we are outside. Uh, we've got a derm to enter. Okay, so this looks like some sort of small market town um, on this moon. Black's the stinking still my transcendical. Return it for two extra spare card slots. Oh, that sounds awesome. Probably need that, right? Uh, let's move... Where can we move? Exit demo, walk down. Oh, uh, exit derm, sorry, is to walk down. Demo, for God's sake. This is the actual okay. game. You can decompile any unwanted cards to produce tokens. Open your hood, move over a card, and hold R to destroy and earn a token. You can spend tokens on the healing machine down here in the dome. So do I have any cards? No, it doesn't look like they've carried over from the... From the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the tutorial. <laughs> so, let's have a look in the mailbox. This mailbox is where cards returned by other players or your hologram will arrive. It's empty right now. Alright, Mr. Scottish Teapot Man. Um, some sort of, I don't know what that is. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's a uh, heal fully for two tokens. So where are my tokens? Don't know. Look at this picture. Explain the maths of combat. When you attack, your attack number is subtracted from the baddie's power. When you defend their power, divided by your defense is subtract. Listen, maths. I didn't come here to do maths. I came here to play some video games. So uh, let's. Well, I'll have a look at that off screen. How about that? I'll save you the boring parts. Okay. It just changed from day to night. All baddies who are going to attack first in combat will now defend first, and vice versa. The best way to survive is not to get hit. Well, yeah. Always attack the baddies with the blue shield above their head if possible. Okay. Uh, let me just have a look at my cards. Do we... No, they don't seem to have to go into any specific order. Uh, so I guess we can get straight into it. Okay, we've got... Don't know what that is. Okay, we're in fight fight mode already. Why do I feel like... Oh, no. No, we've done okay. We've got our first card. So we have uh, unequipped cards. Here we go. Uh, this needs to go in column two. So if we move this here... We can put this back here, and that raises our defense up by one. That's good. Our attack is still three, but uh, we can work on that in the future. All right, so what exactly am I doing? Am I like... Uh, okay. There we go. We took that thing out. Um, are we just having a little look around? Did I lose something there? Yes, I did. It looks like a helmet. Yeah, we've already got one of those boot helmets. It puts our uh, defense up, so that's good. I guess we'll just build up a... Oh, look. Look at this. These are the type of enemies. Look at how many different types of enemies are there? Oh man, there's quite a lot, isn't there? Look at this. There's a whole, like, compendium. Okay, that is not what I wanted to do. It looks like this is randomized as well in terms of, like, uh, procedural generation. So this is, like, that's the game seed. Which I presume is for, like, the setting and the world that we're in right now. Um, so that's good. Okay, we've got whiskers down here. Uh, looks like they're attacking first. Should we deal with them? We've got... Mm, we could probably deal with them, right? Okay. Alright, cool. Let's take this. Gotta be careful of that wook. Oh god, it's chasing us! Okay, we actually dealt with it quite well. We're hitting for three, so that's good. Uh, let's have a look. What did we just pick up? Another boot helmet. 
Um, if we have a card below, it should boost up our um, defense a bit more. So if we put this up here, so we can put this below it. There we go. We put our attack up by four. So this buff affects like both the plus one, uh, uh, the both the card below it and the card that needs the. Uh, oh, does it mean the card below it? Gets the buff. I think that's what it does. Okay, so that changes things a bit. So if we get a card that's like plus three attack, we can put it right there and get it to plus four attack. So we need to remember to do that. <laughs> we need to remember to keep track of that. Uh, oh, jeez. My god, we just got swarmed. Okay. Oh, there's a card right there we probably need. Okay. Ooh, I think we're doing okay. I need that card there. We can take this thing out pretty quickly. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is Orbital Burls. In column one, you get plus one, and the card above gets zero. So it can just go there, right? Yeah, that's good. That is excellent. And that was a good little uh, card we found there. It's one of these guys over here. He's running away. Oh, shit. Oh, that thing's got like 12. Oh, God, it's chasing us. If we can get back to the derm, that'd be terrific. Don't think we're going to that. Oh, no, maybe. All right, fine. This thing looks deadly. Uh, it looks like it gets uh, four defense... Or a 12 defense. Uh, oh no, what's it doing? It's like changing with each turn. Okay. Um, we probably need to get our life back up. We're on two. Uh, is there any way to extend that? We probably need some turkins as well. Uh, heal fully for two turkins. Decompile cards to get more. Uh, what dirt we need? We could probably sacrifice these things, right? But those are on our defense. Um, can we rotate any cards around? I know that was a thing before, like you could rotate cards and there'd be like something else on the other side. I don't think we can. Um, right, we need to get some turkins somehow. Uh, what does this guy say? Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, Black's the Stinking. So if we can find him, we should be able to get uh, a neat little reward for doing that. But ideally we need to deal with this very strategically so we're not dealing with that thing that hits for 12 straight away. Oh god, it's a horse bros. No. Oh. Okay. Um, oh jeez, we're in battle. Oh crap, I think we're doomed. Yeah, we're doomed. We we died. Okay, so what happens now? Oh shit, you lose all your cards? Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh. Okay, that was a very silly idea for me to attack that, uh, that thing, but... Whatever, well, I guess we'll get to see the uh, death sequence early on. Brilliant. It looks like we're in some sort of... Look, Barry! It's one of your little friends. Oh my lord. Barry's been teaching me all about this fascinating liquid he brought with him. You see, my influence over your dimension is limited, so I need representatives on the ground. Oh shit. Like giant vagina men. I don't quite have the hang of it yet, but I'm getting close. In the meantime, we'd really appreciate it if you could keep the numbers down up there. We can't have those idiots hurting Barry. Oh, and don't worry about dying. It's just a simple matter of reshuffling time. Now, back you go. Barry has so much to teach me. She literally looks like a giant vagina. You must show me how to get there. Oh my god, that's horrific. Right, we're back in. There I am. Brilliant. Right, well, I think you were a dead body for most of that, so I'll give you the upshot. Um, there's a there's a thing below <laughs> or somewhere, and it's going to keep bringing us back to life as long as we kill the aliens around here. But what I'm thinking is, we find the big Barry head and fly it home ourselves without that thing below, obviously. So let's get looking. Amazing. So we've been tasked with killing like- Oh look, it's randomized again! You're alive again! Unfortunately, the thing below can can't preserve your cards when it reincarnates you, so you'll have to get out there and collect a new set. Well, brilliant. Uh, I guess we'll wrap it up there though. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been the first episode of Loot Rascals, if you guys want to see more. Um, this is what I'm doing with this series. If you guys want to see more of it, because I know card games aren't for everyone, if you want to see more of this game in particular, as a form of like a big series, please let me know. I'm personally really enjoying it, but if you guys aren't, obviously, then I'll have to change it up. Um, but yeah, this could be the finish of the series, or it could continue. It's all up to you guys and your comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like, 
and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I appreciate you stopping by. This has been Steve. That has been Loot Rascals. Checkpoint complete.